So in this video, I'm going to answer the top eight questions regarding Thailand nightlife and meeting Thai girls taken directly from the comment section. So if you want me to do a follow up, post your question in the comments. All right. Is it true that Bangkok's nightlife can turn a monk into a sex addict? Well, Bangkok's nightlife is certainly colorful and oftentimes wild, so it can test anyone's resolve. But I always say remember, self-control is key. From my personal experience, I can tell you that it does change your perspective on things in regards to dating and women, as is the case with any experience. That's just common sense. Many, many guys that go to Thailand, they taste the forbidden fruit for the first time in their life. And by that, I mean having unlimited pleasure when it comes to well, unlimited options, rather, when it comes to dating and women, and they go absolutely crazy. But oftentimes, that's only for a short period and they end up slowing down. So, yes, during the initial exposure phase, it can indeed turn a monk into a sex addict. But after that, it can actually do the opposite and just make you less interested, at least in the sense that women are not a high, high priority anymore because you've gotten what you wanted and lots of it. And you also know in the back of your mind that you can always go back for more. It's kind of like a starving person eating for the first time and then satiety sets in after a while. And once you know, you know, enough food is available you kind of reach homeostasis and you don't stuff your face every day. Do girls in go-go bars in Thailand really like me or is it just my wallet that they're interested in? Well, the truth is, mate, it's mostly about your wallet. Some might genuinely like you, but never forget it's a business first. People think it can only be one or the other, but in reality it can and often is a combination of two factors. A service provider can like you, but that doesn't mean it's going to be for free. I mean, replace Working Girl with any other service provider. If you are a personal trainer, can you not like or be friends with your coaching client? Or does charging your coaching client mean you don't like him? And only if you offered your personal, personal trainer sessions for free, only that would mean that you like him. Well, the reality is, the reality is these girls can like you. They can even quote you a lower price. They can even be highly attracted to you. But that doesn't necessarily mean you get it for free. Common sense applies here. If she's quoting a crazy, crazy high price, then most likely she doesn't like you and isn't interested in going with you. If she does more than what was agreed upon, if she stays longer, etc., those are positive indicators. The best approach is probably to not overthink this because if you do and you actually look below the surface, things can get really complicated, even with regular non-working Thai girls. Because normal girls can go home with you for reasons that have little to do with being attracted to you. Unable to drive home at night, you have a larger apartment while she is actually staying in a tiny room with a friend, etc., etc. All these are reasons where you could potentially think you are scoring because you're such a hot guy, but in reality, things are different. So I would say don't overthink, just enjoy it. How do I use my no command at a Thai ladyboy bar or with a ladyboy on the street that approaches me without getting smacked? Well, it's very easy, With as was the case with all girls, working girls. Be polite and firm. Uh, a simple no thank you with a smile usually does the trick. Or if you're walking on the street and there's a really aggressive one grabbing you and not letting go, you can simply take out your phone and pretend you're starting to take a video because that will usually scare away any aggressive working girl, especially lady boys. But yeah, just being firm usually does the trick and they will get the message. Do I really need to pay a long time fee if I want to take a, a bar girl to stay with me all night? Well, it really depends on the time of the day and how much a girl likes you, as well as a variety of other factors. Strictly speaking, yes, only long time is long time and short time is, you know, around an hour. 
As you can imagine, girls are not robots. So if she's into you or if you take her home very late, she might just stay overnight, even though you only paid for short time. For example, if the bar is closing already and she knows there won't be any additional customers, it's likely that she will just stay, stay with you until the next day in the morning. Those are some of the other factors that can tilt things in your favor. Um, if you have a nice place, etc., etc. So it really depends. But generally speaking, only long time is long time. Is it true? Can you really rent a holiday girlfriend in Thailand? Yes, you certainly can. And I have an entire video covering how to do it, what to look out for, the setup and possible downsides. But let's not kid ourselves. Renting a girlfriend is... Just another way of saying you book a working girl for a really long time because that's what it is. And because you're most likely doing different activities every day outside of the bedroom, the terms of such a girlfriend or holiday girlfriend can vary greatly. Say, for example, you stay at a luxury resort. She might not even ask for additional payment or quote a very low rate because of the, the benefits that she's getting just from staying there and enjoying it. Are the girls in Pattaya really more fun or is it all just hype? Well, in general, people in Pattaya can be a bit more relaxed and fun loving, but it's more about individual chemistry as is always the case. More girls to choose from, uh, more girls to meet in Pattaya, but keep in mind also more hardcore working girls in Pattaya. Whereas in Bangkok, you will find some that, you know, they're just doing it as a, as a side hustler. They will go with only the guys that they really like and in phuket you will find girls who are just there for holiday and open to making money so they are also less hardcore about business and making money now how do i ensure i'm not overcharged in a thai beer bar or in any thai establishment when you go out at night best way pay as you go don't run tabs as confusion or mistakes can always happen i say ideally bring as much cash as you are willing to spend and avoid getting crazy drunk that way you limit your risk i personally always pay directly upon receiving my drink that way i don't run the risk of being overcharged or spending beyond my means and lastly what's the best way to get a real thai girlfriend instead of a working girl or a bar girl well there are many options you know the night markets daytime but really realistically speaking for most guys the most convenient option will be online dating now, Thai Friendly is an app and also a website that has the lowest barrier to entry because there's no, you know, matching feature that you have on Bumble and Tinder. So you can directly message any girl and you see all the girls that are online at any given time. But there are a lot of working girls on the side and some will only disclose that after a bit of chit chat. Now, if you want a higher chance of meeting a normal, regular Thai girl, then I would say Tinder would be better. Bumble has probably the highest percentage of normal girls. Some would even say the highest quality of girls. Now, good pictures are mandatory for good results. Otherwise, you can forget it, even on Thai Friendly. The first picture can be a portrait, or if you have a good body, good physique, you can show that. But keep in mind, it has to be a high quality picture, not, not a bathroom selfie. The rest of the pictures can be activity or lifestyle pictures. The good thing is if you have zero pictures or zero good pictures, Thailand is great for getting those done because there's even even in Bangkok, most most cities actually it doesn't really matter where you are in Thailand unless you're in the jungle. There's so many places, high end hotels, restaurants, bars, all those nice places where you can easily get different pictures taken in different outfits on different days. Uh, whether it's your body taking a picture or you hire a professional photographer for a small fee, it's, it can easily be done, very, very easy. And then you just do a tiny, tiny bit of brushing up the pictures using Face App. I have a video for that in the Thailand Guide, and you're good to go. All right, those were the eight questions. Again, if you have a question and you want it answered in the next video, just post it as a comment below. Other than that, I'll see you next time.